y'all. Welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. Today I'm excited. I got one that I've been waiting to try on my list here. And it's from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. Jam Juice Imperial Hazy IPA. Juicy, soft, fruity. Brewed and canned by Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, Elmsford, New York. So dry hopped with Galaxy Hops. 8% ABV. So the many notes of a lengthy jam. Big aromas and hints of stone fruit dance to the rhythm. Yes. Okay. 8% alcohol by volume. India Pale Ale. Brewed a few months ago. Yeah, baby. There you have it. Jam Juice from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. Yep. Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. I've, I've had a few of theirs that are pretty good. I believe they uh, said <clears throat> north of New York City. It's a short drive north of New York City in Westchester County, New York. Uh, it's the area's largest craft brewery, producing a lot of beer, obviously. Um, founded in 2006. And they won some of their first medals in the Great American Beer Festival in 2007. Uh, I know there's some reviewers that, that post on my group on Facebook. I think it's Ryan Potts or something. Um, I've been looking at that, but he, I think, is up there that way in New York. So there's a lot of good breweries all over this nation of ours. So, all right, so I'm excited about this one. It caught my eye, and I've been waiting to try it. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist here because it's been standing up in the fridge for a few weeks. So... Looks clean. Let's get her open. Oh yeah, it smells hoppy. Hoppy, 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 hoppy. Yeah. That smells good. I become more of a hop head doing all these reviews. Beers that I knew I probably back in the day would never like I love now. I love that smell. I just love the smell of hops like that. It's just so good. It's addictive, y'all. It's addictive. Jam juice. Maybe jamming. We be jamming. Come on now and jam it with me. All right. Definitely hazy. Pretty thick looking head there. Oh, not thick. Actually, very spongy. My bad. I was totally wrong on that. What am I talking about? Look how spacious the bubbles are. Yeah, dry, spongy, for sure. Wide bubbles. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Definitely, absolutely hazy. To me, it's like looking at orange juice almost. I mean, my goodness. Wow. And then I put it up there, it looks different. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is definitely a beautiful looking hazy. I love, excuse me, hazies. New England IPAs. New England India Pale Ales. Yeah, as you see how hazy that is. Yeah, that's very light in color. That's about three, two or three. Yeah, see, I hold it up. Yeah, that's pretty light in color. I'm going to say about three easily. Three or four at the most. On the SRM. Okay. That is a beautiful looking New England India Pale Ale. Got a little extra in here. Let's see if we can't spruce it up a bit. There's even some more in there. Ooh, can't get every last drop. Can't really taste anything. We gotta nip the head here before it goes away. Hoppy, bitter, hoppiness, not super like soapy bitter, but hoppy. It's less aromatic in the in the uh, the cup than it was in the, in the out of the can. 
but it smells but pretty much hoppy, you know, like a IPA. Let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, I got some floaties there. Look at the bottom of that. You see them sitting on the bottom? Some, some yeast sediment. Salute. Okay. I bet fresh, like right out of the tap, this is probably going to be really better than it is now. It's, it's still good. It's still really good. It's not bad. A nice bitterness to it. Uh, Wayne Allen from Bucks County Beer Reviews would probably love this beer. And so would uh, Uncle Bub from Fridays Are For You, Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Both of them would like this brew right here. If you like the bitter hoppiness, this one's more on the bitter side, kind of where it's leaning towards being a West Coast, but not a New England. You know, England, this one's not like as full body and as smooth as like a, a hazy, like a New England IPA. This one almost reminds me more of like a West Coast IPA. Like a, something like that. It's just got a little bit more bitterness and more crispness. I like them when they're kind of smooth and juicy. You know, I was expecting it to be juicy with the name Jam Juice, and it doesn't pop as juicy. I mean, there is like a, a good tropical flavor there. Something juicy. I mean, not juicy, but. I don't know what it is. And it's almost, I'd say, full to medium full body. It just feels like it should be a little bit more full body, a little bit more smooth. It's got a nice bitter bite. And I guess there's like a grapey, I want to say grape, maybe it's because I'm looking at this can, I'm seeing these colors, and my brain's telling me it's, that's what it is. It's like a fruity flavor. That I'm getting in the back when I after I, I swallow and I breathe out. Hmm. It's, Nick, me think of eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I kind of was thinking that again. My brain going off, the, you know, with the name Jam Juice. I'm thinking Jam, peanut butter and jam, making a good PBJ. That'd be a great pairing with this. It would be actually. I almost feel like. Uh, if I still have some left before I finish this, I'm going to go make me a PBJ and, and finish it with this. This is actually really good, though. It's not a bad beer. It's got a booziness to it in the finish. You do kind of taste, you can tell it's 8%. Uh, other than that, though, you can tell it's pretty good quality brew. Not too bad at all. So, online, on Untapped, with over 11.8 thousand reviews, it gets a 3.81. That's pretty good, in my opinion. 3.81, that's over 11,000 reviews on Untapped. It's above the, you know, the 3.5 mark. So, Beer Advocate, a 91 out of 100. That's outstanding, with an average of 4.1 out of 55 reviews. So, not too bad at all. One of these days, I'm going to get my group, Beer Reviewers United, to become the next big you know like untapped and beer advocate i like untapped get rid of beer advocate and it'll be brew it'll be brew and untapped beer reviewers united <laughs> so i don't know if i'm gonna crave this one would i buy it again let's see about 16 dollars for about four dollars for this can four and change so eh, probably not Probably not. I don't know. I mean, if it was on sale, I'd definitely buy it. I would definitely drink it again. Obviously, I do like it. I don't know if I'm going to go craving it. And I don't think it's going to be ringing the memory bells, you know, like I'm going to think back and go, oh, remember that hazy, that jam juice hazy IPA now. Now, it is a good drinking beer. It's good for that. I like it. I mean, it's not bad. Mm. So, Big B Beer if you Great, I'm going to give this one. Um, a B. Regular old B. Yep. So, 
not too bad. If y'all have found this and uh, got to try it, please uh, let me know. I noticed online pictures, there's different looking can art. And so, you know, I guess different releases or whatever. Um, let me know what you think of it. Also check out my group, Beer Reviewers United, which I was just talking about, where uh, it's on Facebook. Basically just trying to get all the beer reviewing community, whether you write it out yourself, you just write a written review, you do a YouTube thing like this, or maybe you might even be a professional beer reviewer. There's even some of those that have been leaving their posts on that group. And just want to bring them together in one group, you know, to be easy to find and find their reviews. So check it out and make sure if you're watching this and you liked it, please hit like and subscribe and share and stay tuned because I got a lot more good ones coming. Hope to see you here at the Dan Bar for the next one. Till next time, salute.